Hello and welcome to a very special broadcast here on India today. The two guests we have with us today need no introduction. And they're here today because they've got a new film coming that tells a story that has never ever been told before. It's called IB71. Anupam Kher and Vidyut Jamwal are the stars of this new upcoming film and we're going to talk about it to them. Because remember, the 1971 war viewer was India's finest military moment. Many of us weren't born at that time, but we still know so much about it. Films have been made, books have been written, shows continue to be directed about what India managed to do in 1971. But even now, half a century later, there are nuggets, there are missions, there are incidents from the 1971 war that remain like little hidden treasures, still unknown, waiting to be discovered. And that's what this new film, IB71, has set out to do. And I can tell you very frankly that as a military affairs journalist, as someone who writes on defense, I myself knew very little about the mission that is the protagonist of this film. Anupam Kher, and with you, Jamwal, a pleasure to have the both of you, uh, you know, stellar actors and stars here in the India Today studios for this new film. First of all, congratulations. The film comes out very soon. We're all looking greatly forward to it. I'm going to start with you, Anupam, uh, sir, out of uh, seniority. Uh, incredible subject. You yeah. know, I, I, IB71 has an incredible subject. I can tell you that I watched a bit of the trailer. I've read, uh, you know, uh, so much about it since you introduced me to the film. Hmm. And that was a real eye-opener, that this is something about India's most well-known military moment that most people know nothing about. Yeah. I have been part of, I was seven years old when 62 war happened, uh, 65 war happened and 71. Yeah. I remember in Shimla, we used to dig these small little things, trenches and then get into it. So, but when uh, my director and Vidyut informed me about this film, uh, this plot, I actually did not know about it hmm. and uh, very fascinating script and also we have a very fascinating director who made earlier Ghazi Attack yes. and I had just recently s seen it and I loved it so I wanted to be part of it and also the film came to me at a time when I had just returned from uh, US and I was looking for work all over again hmm. and I'm very fond of this gentleman he's uh, not only a very fine actor but a very fine human being. Yeah. And I now at this stage of my life, I want to work with people that I, I like. This film uh, will be an eye opener, as you said very mm. clearly, uh, for people who had no idea that this event did take place, where the intelligence bureau, that's how yes. the IB comes in, uh, played a very, very important role. So I play the IB chief, yes. and he plays one of the main uh, persons through him, the whole uh, show is accomplished, or whole mission is accomplished. Mm. Uh, detailing of the film. We are in an era of cinema where we can make as realistic as we can yeah. uh, films and uh, all research can go into it. I am in the movies for the last 38 years so I've seen that time also when anybody will wear anything mm -hmm. uh, be an army guy or police guy but there will be nothing yeah. but there was a research in it and the war room was set up so I don't want to give much details yes, about yes. it, but I think it's no, no, absolutely. I don't. You know, I, I, I uh, having having read about this mission, I certainly do not want to spoil it for our viewers because the film is out in just a few days. And the days whole film is like a climax. It's, it's not the climax happens at the climax. I mean, even before watching the film, I know that it's a, it's an edge of your seat kind of film because yeah. that's the kind of topic here. Uh, with you, you know, uh, and again, I don't want to give out anything about it. There is a hijack of a, a plane involved that you can tell from the trailer itself. Uh, uh, obviously, it's a covert operation. Obviously, there is a lot of spy craft involved in this entire movie. What drew you to this topic? Because this is sensitive stuff, Vidyut. So, my father was in the army. Yeah. Uh, I've had my whole family, uh, a generation in mm. the Indian forces. I started my career with Commando. Yeah. Um, I had to turn producer and had a lot of scripts coming up to me. I've never watched a movie. I've never heard really so much about the Intelligence Bureau. Like, all the countries, whether it's the US or the UK, they all talk about the intelligence bureaus mm. or the secret services. We've never spoken about it. Uh, when I meet friends, they don't really know what what the secret service of India is. They are normally confused whether it's raw, somebody says it's CID. It was important to talk about mm. it. 
It was important to talk about the biggest mission that the Secret Service of India has done. Yeah. That was the most interesting thing. And, uh, Anupam sir, you know, you are familiar with Kashmir. Uh, this was a sensitive time. This was a time when, uh, you know, the sovereignty of India could possibly have been threatened. Intelligence and, you know, spy craft, espionage is a very, very tricky subject. It's a grey area. You know, oftentimes, uh, you know, when one hears the stories, there aren't any blacks and whites. There are many shades of grey as well. How did you navigate this story? Because even when you look at it closely and people, when they watch the movie, they'll know it's a, it's a hall of mirrors in many ways. So my chacha, my father's youngest brother, was assistant director at Intelligence Bureau. Mm. And he lived with us. And uh, there was a side of him... So you had we, a master spy in the family? Yeah, and there was a side of him which he will never till today reveal what they uh, were doing. Mm. Never. He was a regular office going guy. He used to go to his dormers in Shimla was his office. And we'll go and he will look like a, that we are in accounts department. We are the, so that was very intriguing. Mm. Uh, so intelligence bureau chief doesn't have to be a very dramatic person. Uh, as far as performance is concerned, because I have clearly seen my uncle. Yeah. Uh, so the performance, but the intricacies with which uh, Vidyut and his production team and our director Sankal Reddy uh, did that, I think that is very fascinating. And Kashmir, this whole thing that that hijacked their own yeah. plane from Kashmir to Lahore, from Srinagar to Lahore, that whole uh, incident, that whole uh, premise, mm. I think was... Uh, very very uh, intriguing and because when I was shooting for the film and uh, we our director is a very quiet kind of a person mm. he I, mm. I have a feeling that he is also from intelligence very very because he doesn't talk much yeah and he is so sure what you want so I feel that I have done so much work yeah. that this is the way I will do this and right. the director has just done one film but he was adamant that no sir i have to do this and 71 mm. it's a period film from that point of view as it said 50 52 years back yes yes so uh, the from the hairstyle to the costumes mm. to everything and the connection between the ib chief and all the agents <coughs> all the people who were working on the ground is very intriguing yeah. we didn't have mobile phones at that time we didn't have so how the how the instruments were used, Correct. I think Correct. phenomenal. I, no, think. I can imagine, you know, as producer Vidyut, it must have taken more than just the usual degree of effort to get the right look, you know, get the right production design, the equipment, the mannerisms, the uniforms. Uh, you know, how, how much of a challenge was that? Because uh, the, the reason I'm also asking is because we live in a time where a lot of military movies are made, a lot of spy movies are made, but, you know, it's difficult to stand out. But a cursory look at IB-71 shows that a very, very close, you know, someone who understands stuff has painted this movie. So, you know, the, the moment the idea came to me, the first thought was, who's going to take the direction? Hmm. Who's going to direct the movie? And uh, I'd watched Ghazi Attack, and I was really impressed with what I'd witnessed. Yeah, great movie. Um, then I started figuring out how to get to Sankal Freddy, and now how it happens is, everybody told me that he's an arrogant man, he's done Ghazi attack and <laughs> it's not very easy to get him. So when I heard the word arrogant, I thought this resonates with yeah. me. They call me arrogant too. <laughs> they call I mean, me also arrogant. <laughs> they, I'll come to that. <laughs> not really sir, you, not at all. <laughs> like, so I took a flight to Hyderabad and I personally wanted to meet the man. The moment I entered his office and like he said, he doesn't speak so much. I told him the idea and he jumped on it. Hmm. He said, I want to do this. So for me, it was victory at stage one. And while we were going through the whole rigmarole of figuring out the details, the truth, uh, it was important to find the, my mentor. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Sankal was very sure that it has to be Anupam sir. And mm. the moment he said Anupam sir, I was like, yes, luck is in my favor. He's got the right man. Um, after that, you had to do, we had to do a lot of research. Mm. And mm. research meant knowing what the opposition has also spoken about, what the enemy has written about. Yeah, yeah, there are a few details, there are a few books on it. We started that whole process, our team got together. Um, we got a lot of information, which mm. was really, really intriguing. And then we started figuring out the art, the clothes, and then we gave it about seven months. Uh, Anupam sir, you know, the uh, Kashmir is close to you. It's part of your being. 
uh, you know you've done you've, you've done a lot of writing you've acted in movies that have you know a kashmir connection as well what part of your experience did you bring into this movie because this is also emotional for you you know war may be one thing but you know srinagar kashmir that whole aspect of it i think i live with that yeah uh, i don't have to recollect that correct right? uh, i i i have felt it i have felt the deterioration of kashmiris in kashmir over a period of time a lot of people say that oh you did not live no i used to live to two months every year and i saw it in fact every time i saw after 10 months mm. it was deteriorating so i don't have to work hard to sort of recollect that i am that person mm. who mm. has gone through that uh, but what i think was needed for this film is um, is 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 have that to have that conviction mm. uh, because ib chief is also at at the end of it he also has children he also has parents he has also feelings mm. uh, and he treats in a certain way the relationship between me and vidyut is that of a father and son yeah yeah so ib chief is human being mm. he is not some uh, cardboard character yeah so his concern his worry when they get stuck in lahore how will they get out of it yes. so they are his children and it's important and yet the mission has to sort of also be a su- successful mission but kashmir a, sorry 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 sir but as a person also like you asked yeah. him about the kashmir yeah. thing and he is somebody who's lived then he mm. is he doesn't have to really think about it yeah. as an actor also when he's on set he is like a father yeah yeah but like a young father mm-hmm. he, br- he like brings it around. to the role yes yeah. he really yeah. is the person who's really taking care of everybody protective mm. not mm. giving anybody any advice mm. he doesn't like he he'll never tell you how to do something or be yeah. so he's like the perfect father perfect mentor and he's really played himself in it yeah yeah like guide you gently with love also i think we are in a, as i said earlier that we are in a fantastic frame of my uh, cinema mm. you don't have to act yeah, yeah. you just have to be and when the script says everything i personally feel it's yeah. 90% that you have to be the person hmm. and 10% acting is involved I, I, even for a person like you who's who's so particular about his craft yeah exactly the, if the craft shows in this performance hmm. then you are a bad actor that's amazing that's also. amazing yeah you just have doesn't yeah. have to be every scene has to be like this yeah every scene has to be even a one small close up i understand describes this whole thing and that you understand only after doing lot of work yeah yeah that no, you basically and i always start now at least in the last 5 7 years i start every film as a newcomer yes yes i start a film as if i know nothing mm, about acting mm, mm. and then i am excited right now just now he was telling me uh, vidyut was telling me mr kher you are like a child you are looking at everything <laughs> i told you this toilet paper should shut down or something like yeah, that yeah, yeah. but that is how you can bring yeah. a sense always be curious yeah you can bring sense of wonder yeah and that truth gets resonated with the audience you know so cinema can never be you know separated from real life yeah. uh, and as we all know you know while movies are made about 1971 about the surgical strikes etc we all know that the situation between india and pakistan right now is is uh, is bad it's really bad it's not better we've had big wars you know lost lots of it people on both sides it, it we continues just lost to, five soldiers we've just lost five sol- uh, special forces soldiers in yeah. the rajouri sector so with you you know how does that speak to you as an actor when you're making a film about a topic you know which has such a real life resonance very very close to us how does that affect you and how does that affect the film so you know let's start with the fact that um, for me it was very important to be a part of this movie or produce yeah. it and uh, in today's day like let's talk about russia one of the big powers and they've attacked a smaller country it's been one year and the war is still going on mm. they've lost about 65000 lives but this particular topic is we defeated the country in 13 days yeah and very few people know that it was not only india and pakistan fighting there was china with them and that's what we've disclosed over here to defeat a country in 13 days mm. making 95000 people surrender this is brilliance of the intelligence bureau absolutely no doubt about it so I when you hear something like this you need to share it with the people they need yes. to know that it was just not two countries fighting yes. there was a massive turmoil happening and i think could, what america has done they have kept making these movies yep. and kept the uh, kept the whole thing alive hmm. Hmm. whether it's pearl harbor or so many films yes. or whether uh, so many films i think they have made today's generation with all my love for them does not know what about we the have, great things what, uh, what we have done for them 
a picture of 71 general arora signing yeah. the uh, this instrument thing instrument of surrender uh, 91000 uh, um, pakistani Human soldiers abuse. surrendered yeah. and we were graceful about returning them back mm. Mm. what is the grace that the, our country has shown it's mm. not only about patriotism it's about the large heartedness of us yes it's it's not uh, so they need to remember that we live or they means us me also live to need to remember that the fact that we are in enjoying the freedom hmm. is also based on so many losing so many people losing their lives yes whether but, they but, are but but anupam sir this generation is also living with the reality that the india pakistan issue has not been resolved kashmir continues How to can be, it a, be resolved? a situation i was very proud of my yeah. foreign minister yesterday yes and the, it is important for us to talk like that to talk so straight about it it's important that a lot of people say, oh, ye nahi hona chahiye, aaj kal aisa nahi hona chahiye. I think it's, I don't want to use words which are sort of strong words, but uh, you don't enjoy freedom without the sacrifice of so many people. Some people are in civil clothes and some, some people are in uniforms. Hmm. So this conflict is not our created. Yeah. We, the, there was uh, uh, the Khalistani commando killed yesterday in Pakistan. In Lahore, yes. So that what is the bigger proof that they harbor people who are creating issues in other countries? So large heartedness is about that we invite their foreign minister to, to this important. That's important. Mm. The large heartedness that our prime minister makes an unscheduled uh, uh, visit to that country and meets, tries to meet the prime ministership of that country yeah so we are always trying to be doing that but the, sometimes you have to say enough is enough yeah and it's not that we need to have an uh, enemy feeling or no but if if your neighbor starts problems in your house and we've demonstrated that we, we are have, willing we to have, yeah. 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 Et cetera, et cetera. you said something yeah. in the car also about Never repeating the mistake again. Yes, what exactly. Was what was it? You said something that somebody had told you that never. Repeat. Yeah, my grandfather used to say that don't go through a problem twice. Hmm. Once by thinking sort about it, it once first. by going through it. Hmm. So you don't need to do that. Yeah. And it's important to speak truth. You may not be popular with everybody, but I personally am not interested in popular being popular <laughs> with everybody. But you are very popular. He's for an IB agent. <laughs> He's <laughs> an IB agent. They don't need fame. They don't need to like speak about what they do. Now, now coming to the last bit of this uh, interview, because uh, we're all looking forward to the film and I don't want to uh, poke any more about the film because let people go and watch it. It's going to be a treat. Is, you know, the other thing that binds the both of you. Mm -hmm. you you're both many years apart. You're a senior actor. You're a young actor. Uh, he's also young, of course. Yeah, I didn't no, mean okay. that. No, you no, know, no. you know what I mean, okay. Anupam. Sir. Yes, of course. <laughs> is is fitness? You know, you're both you're both very very into fitness. He's Guruji in both in of you fitness. post pictures that go viral all the time. What is it about both of you? Have you guys bonded on fitness also? No, no. There is no comparison between Vidyut and me. I am a late bloomer in fitness. He was telling me that. Uh, but he sir, you bhi. Pictures He's doing more movies on sports than any other person. I have, I'm just in the middle of shooting of a film about a man who at the age of 69 starts uh, doing this triathlon. I hmm. I triathlon. Triathlon, triathlon. Uh, so uh, I think I realized at the age of 60, I'm 68 now, uh. that there is much more to life than just being like that. So hmm. I shifted. And it gave me a feeling of, I now feel that actors are like, uh, like army personnel. Yeah. They have, even they, if they have less ammunition, they have to keep fighting. Yeah. They yeah. have to going on. And he's my inspiration. He, I've seen his pictures, his, the way, dedication. When I said, when I said uh, Vidyut is coming to the office, mm. everybody said Kalari Patu and parkour and all oh the other God. crazy things. You, I think you've been described as the fittest guy in India and all that. That's, that's, and that's also crazy. he does not keep that on his sleeve. Yeah, He's such yeah. a quiet man. Yeah, unassuming. Uh, uh, tell us, obviously you're not going to tell us your fitness secret, but you know, to young Indians today, how important is fitness? I think... Um, India is the diabetes capital of the world, by the way. Really? <laughs> Mental and physically you're talking about? Or you're just physical? Both, both, both. But physical first. You got to keep moving. You got to keep moving. That's the only thing. If you have a plan in terms of 
if you want to do something, yeah. you've decided that I want to run for five kilometers tomorrow, never break a promise to yourself. Even if you don't wake up at six, don't wake up at eight, you don't have time till two, somehow figure out some time to do what you promised to. So if you keep a promise to yourself, I promise you, you'll be fit up. Like you decide what you want to do with your body or yourself and just commit to it. Yeah. There's no other way. Anupam sir, I started with you, I'll end with you. Mm. Late bloomer, mm. but you are also keeping to it every day like this? Yeah, because my competition has, is not has my... Has Vidyut given you any tips? Not at all. No, he just, <laughs> he doesn't need he just keeps tips. saying nice things about me. But I, my competition is not with my age group people. Yeah, yeah. My competition, healthy competition, mm. is with somebody like him. <laughs> Some My competition is all these younger actors. I'm competing with them. Yeah. Not interested in my age group people. <laughs> I have a friend who is also very, very fitness freak, Anil. Yeah. So he's my neighbor. So my competition is with him. <laughs> right, right. I, I, to, I go to any hotel now. I first ask them, weighing machine chahiye. Or ek gram bhi zyada hota hai, to mujhe takleef hoti. Wow, really? So I quit sugar hmm. four months back. Right. And that is the most wonderful thing I've done. Okay. Because that is the major issue with lots of things, a lot of health problems so a very a very and very i have no diabetes nothing my diabetes etc is perfect and but if you leave sugar for 14 days in 6 months it makes you you and, and may i say sir with greatest of respect you certainly do not look 68 i mean that's incredible so that's all, why i keep saying it that i am all young stars of <laughs> bollywood and beyond please watch out a very fit and getting fitter anupam khair sir is uh, you know on the prowl so, so I'll tell don't don't take those roles for granted basically yes. right but That's before the, you and i want to tell people yes. how, how why they should see this film yes please do please apart do. from that this is this has him and me and our track record is yes. good i think it's very important to know our country's history and salute the heroes because of whom we are enjoying the freedom absolutely and it's a very thrilling film uh, sankalp is brilliant and you, it's like you watch the film like this. When I saw it recently and it had no background, it had no VFX, I was blown away by this. So for that reason, they have to see We're it. We're all looking forward to it. Uh, you know, the topic is something that doesn't even need to be uh, uh, you know, sold, it's something that we're all interested in and very, very important for all of us to know what happened in 1971. Believe me, not easy half a century later to find aspects of the greatest and most revealed war of India with something that has never been known before. So we're all going to be watching IB71, Vidyut and Anupam Kher, sir. Thank you very much. Thank a you. pleasure and a privilege. All the best for your film. Thank you Thank for being you. with us here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.